Hey everybody, here with a big stack of Puerto Rican players that I got from Hitman23. Big time binder fuel here. Hitman is a binder guy himself. And luckily I had just purchased two of those Ultra Pro boxes of binder pages because I'm definitely going to be needing them after this. But let's just go through some of the ones that I'm pretty sure I don't have. I already pre-sorted these by position because that's how I put them in the binders. So as soon as I'm done here, I'll be putting all these where they belong. So we'll start with some pitchers. Jose Guzman. I think that might be his rookie from 86 Fleer. Got the 89 tops. And really nice to get this one, the Collector's Choice Gold Signature. Those are much tougher to find than you would think. Got a few more of them here. 90 Upper Deck. And a nice 92 Stadium Club. Next, I got some Jamie Navarro, who actually looks like one of my uncles who really helped me out a lot when I got into sports cards collecting. I've always said he looks like Jamie Navarro, or Jamie Navarro looks like him, however you want to put it. Looks like a right-handed CC Sabathia there. He just kept getting bigger and bigger as the years went on. Here's a 95 Tops. Here's a more recent guy that some of you might remember, Javier Vasquez, with the White Sox on these. Also pitched with the Yankees, Braves, Marlins, Expos. Had a decent career. I've always said there haven't been like a lot of dominant Puerto Rican pitchers, but he used to get a lot of strikeouts. But when he pitched in the American League, his ERA was always pretty high too. Gave up a ton of home runs. Here you have some 92 upper deck, Omar Oliveras and. Francisco Oliveras. I thought they might have been related, but then I realized they both spell their last name slightly differently. But yeah, both from Puerto Rico. Some Roberto Hernandez. Really solid closer back in the 90s. Mostly with the White Sox, then bounced around like five different teams at the end of his career. Pitched with Tampa a bit, and I think the Phillies. Another nice 92 stadium club. 93 upper deck the Fleer prospect card and a tops gold from 94 a few more pitchers here then we'll move on to another position you got Javier Lopez the left-handed reliever not the catcher this one's pretty cool here this Angel Miranda minor league card got a Willie Hernandez 86 Fleer and his 88 Donruss rocking the glasses there let's move on to some catchers here we got the other Javier Lopez the more famous one great catcher for the Braves and Orioles they got the 95 tops rookie cup hitman is a big fan of the rookie cup cards and really nice to get these as I've said I don't find a lot of Benji Molina cards. I think a lot of people just kind of threw them into their common boxes and they were never seen again. But yeah, really solid defensive catcher. Actually turned into a pretty good offensive player later on in his career. You see he was batting 292, 276, started hitting some home runs. But yeah, I always say he was the original Molina shortly after he was called up. His brother Jose Molina was called up. Another good defensive catcher, and then eventually Yadier came up and was the best out of all three of them. And this guy was definitely a great catcher, Pudge Rodriguez. Really nice one there, the 95 tops and 92 score. Got some Benito Santiago, very popular catcher in the late 80s, early 90s. Played with a bunch of teams. Here he is with the Marlins. A couple more with the Marlins. Shout out to Cuban Collector. And some Ramon Castro. I remember him with the Mets. I think he played with the Mets on a few different occasions. And his rookie from Tops. Didn't even realize his rookie was from way back in the early 90s. Played a long time. He was still catching a few years ago. Next we got some infielders. Well, this guy played first base and the outfield. Not quite sure which binder I have him in. Gonna have to check. 
But yeah, Orlando Merced. Here's a really great utility infielder, Jose Okendo. Also managed the Puerto Rican WBC team a few times. A bunch of cards of him here. That was pretty cool there. Dropping down a bunt. Another nice one here. 84 tops. Didn't know he had played with the Mets. A few more from the 90s. Tops gold on him. Another solid utility man here. Luis Alisea. Great shot there. Turning the double play. Another bunt photo there. Back when they used to bunt a lot more. And yet another solid Puerto Rican middle infielder, Ray Sanchez. A lot of these guys were more defensive type players back when middle infielders weren't really hitting like 35 home runs a year like they do now. But I remember this guy played briefly with the Yankees in 97 and had some spectacular defensive plays. Here he is with the Cubs on these. And here you got some Jose Hernandez. Another really solid player. He had some power, 20 to 25 home run power. And there's his rookie prospect. And check out that stash on the back there. And pretty sure this one got in there by accident. Unless Hitman knows something I don't. I don't think Rex Hudler is a Puerto Rican player, but pretty solid player back in the day. And let's move on to some outfielders. Starting with the father-son combo there. Jose Cruz and Jose Cruz Jr. Really like that senior right there. Used to be a big fan of Cruz Jr. ever since he got called up with Seattle. And some Candy Maldonado. I think that's straight out of Hitman's food PC. He has a lot of interesting themed binders that he does. And got some Ruben Sierra. 92 upper deck. I love this one here. The 92 Stadium Club that was taken in Puerto Rico, I'm assuming, during the off season. And he also sent some of these big NFL game day cards. Been meaning to get some top loaders for these big type of cards because I have a bunch of them from a lot of different sports from back in the day. But yeah, here you see a lot of the Giants from this era. Howard Cross, I remember a lot of these guys. Jumbo Elliott. Hammer, Keith Hamilton. Rodney Hampton, yeah, these were the guys I remember watching when I was really starting to get into football hardcore. Mark Jackson, not the NBA guy. And Mike Sherrard. So thanks so much, Mike, again, as a fellow binder guy. You know how much fun I'm going to have putting all this stuff away. And thank you all for checking these videos out. Even though I'm not showing like a lot of high-end stuff, I appreciate the continued support. And I'll talk to you guys next time.